Well, that went better than expected. I suppose we should be happy we don't have pirate problems here. He's referring to another security failure. Captain Revar at Leth Outpost lost a reactor substation to the White Moor pirates. We have asked much of you, but Captain Revar has not, and his soldiers desperately need relief at the Leth Outpost. If you have the time, look in on them. What is this? I ask not to be disturbed. Ah, it is you. Commander Triton and that Chiss fellow spoke well of you. Make yourself at home. I was busy calculating our chances in case the Republic attacks. It looks grim. If they bring a force of any real size, we're doomed. Don't focus on possibilities. Focus on what we will do. The best force multiplier would be installing more automated guns, which we have. However, they eat power. What we really need is to tap into the nearby geothermal power substation, but it's been taken by the White Moor. We don't have the manpower to take on those pirates, and we've got a base that'll black out in any sustained fight with the Republic. Criminals are no threat to me. Frozen ones, less so. The White Moor's hawks are more like an army than criminals. Our kill ratio for them is about 1 to 10. This is an energy coupling you'll need to install when you've eliminated all resistance. It should divert flow back to the outpost. With that power, our guns will be operational and give us a fighting chance. Go in strength.
did it. We're running on geothermal power now. We blew a circuit when it came on, but that was easily fixed. Did the Hawks prove difficult? They proved clumsy and stupid. I could have fought twice that number. I thought as much. The White Moor have a good kill ratio versus regular troops, but non-standard tactics like yours eat them up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to oversee the deployment of our sensors and weapons. We've already begun the installation of our defense systems, and we're on schedule to be done before nightfall. Sir, the Republic frequencies are alive with chatter. They somehow knew we had a power surge just now, so I swept for bugs and I found this. An energy monitor. Do we have a spy or a traitor? Based on the Republic's internal communications, they had this installed long before we took over this outpost. I only looked because the Republic chatter was so obviously shocked by the influx of power. They won't attack here. They'll bomb the main geothermal reactor to black out the entire sector. Do you agree that's the most likely target? If the grid goes cold, it'll get rid of all the pirates plugged into it too. It's a solid win for the Republic. They'll have to cut through the Ortolan workers there and the Whitemore pirates, but they're sending Zero Squad snowtroopers. If I were a gambler like the captain here, I'd bet on them. Put a bounty on their heads and you'll have them soon enough. Good. I thought you'd see it my way. Zero Squad is the Republic's best. If you defeat them, just think of the humiliation. Sign of pursuit.
when you are.
civilians need to evacuate the station. Step away from the console with your hands on your head. <laughs> I said, step away from the console with your hands on your head. Hey, you. Hello? Intruders! I've got intruders in the shaft room! It's obvious I'm not here for your benefit. Why aren't you running? You provide expertise, and the Empire will provide protection. Here they are! Get them! It's over. The reactor's secure. The Empire now has a deal with the Ordolans. I was hoping they'd stay on. The last time we took over a reactor, we had to translate all their labels into basic. I'll ask Command to send reinforcements there. Looks like we're going to be holding some ground after all. This planet should be about winning, instead of stalemates. I'm fond of the exhaustion strategy myself. We've cost the Republic ten times what we're worth. But let's not talk theory when the real world demands our attention. The captain of Thesh outpost on the glacier requires help. He's been wounded, and his outpost is battling a group of survivalist fanatics called the Hailstorm Brotherhood. You could make the difference. I'll go at once. Excellent. I'll send word. Please return to the medical bay. You may further injure yourself by walking. I heard you the first five times. Now be silent. I have an outpost to defend. So, you made it past the pass in the mountains. I'm surprised the Hailstorm Brotherhood let anyone through. I was just doing my job. Survival itself is to be celebrated around here. We've been cut off from the other outposts by the Hailstorm Brotherhood. A cult of madmen in the White Moor Pirates. You see this wound? dressed it with seasonings from the rations when we ran out of Colto. In a few days, we'll be eating boot leather to survive. Are you gonna take this indignity from a handful of pirates? We're weaker from hunger than I'd like to say. They're starving us out, and it's working. One defeat will be our last. What about you? Could you face them? You've hired yourself a hunter. Good. We will see how they fare when someone else has the advantage of surprise. Then, when you have the bodies piled, ugh, cut it, another stitch. Sir, I did say you need to be on bed rest. Very well. The Brotherhood like to use downed speeders as bait. They should be easy enough to find. Good hunting.
fight, I'll cheer. Deal? the Hailstorm Brotherhood you spoke of. The pass is clear. Is that so? Glad to hear their bodies are finally getting colder. Those maniacs have laughed at us for far too long. But here's something they don't know. We found out where they hide. The Hailstorm Brotherhood make camp in an open-air fortress cut out of the ice, not far from here. I guess caves were too easy. They obey what their beloved Master Sav tells them to. He's their legend. A man who can survive anywhere. Kill the head of their little personality cult, and the body will fall apart. What sort of things has this master survived? A few poisoning attempts, walking on lava on Mustafar, and fighting just about everybody on Hoth at one time or another. Even when his men were killed at the Battle of High Ridge, he lived in the snow, hunting wampus with a spear made from an icicle. Three weeks later, he strolled back to the Ice Fortress, none the worse. So if you see him, don't give him any chances. You know, the more you talk about this guy, the higher the bounty gets. If I sent you in saying he was a soft target, chances are you wouldn't come back alive. Master Sab is responsible for this. For me. For my men. When you kill him, you let him know what a mistake he made leaving me alive. Got a minute, I want to talk.
When we've got a minute, I want to talk. Seems you have some skill, stranger. You are not the effete little warriors they usually send our way. I suppose you were also the one who slew so many in the White Ridge Hills. Your men are dead, buried in the snow. I am here. I had expected more hatred from a foe we have beaten and starved. But perhaps you are not from the outpost, are you? No. Them I know. You are something different. You do as I do. You compete to out-compete. For you, I have a challenge. Do your worst. I speak of the crypt, where only the truly strong dare fight. Its fog will soak you through in seconds and steal all warmth from your body. It is then we discover who we truly are. Join me in battle, one against one, fighting for our lives. Nothing is more pure, in this world or any other. Then we'll meet in this crypt. Yes, and there you will meet Oblivion.
Master Sav. Master Sav. You've killed him. I can't say he wasn't asking for it. Yes, I heard him rant, as he so often does. Master Sav believed nothing could kill him. We walked in his footsteps, testing the limits of the body. But it's clear from your ordeal in the crypt that you surpassed him. Do I have to take on the rest of you crazies? No. Your potential is rare and inspiring. I would no sooner destroy you than tear apart a priceless painting. With the proper technique, you might resist the elements as we do. I would be honored for you to learn from me. If you feel you can teach me... Sit with me then. Close your eyes and breathe. Each of us has a fire burning within our body. If tended to, it can blaze hot enough to protect us. Good. I see the signs in you. With practice, the cold will hold no danger to you. Now I will gather the rest of the Brotherhood and leave this planet. If you see a Hailstorm Brother from this moment on, they are not loyal to me. Deal with them as you see fit. Master Sab is dead, and his successor is leaving for another planet. I trust this will help. You are a drink of water to a dying man. Yes, yes, it will help us greatly. I'm contacting Dawnbase. They should be able to bring us supplies if the Brotherhood is truly leaving the mountain passes. But Master Sav was just one of many. Soon we'll go after the big game. Boss Undro, Ellis Tarn, and the other Whitemore kingpins. How do I get in on this? Admiral Holtz is going to order an attack on key Whitemoor members. But I don't know when or how. Fixer 308 at Zerik Outpost would have the details. The outpost's in the ship graveyard, prime Whitemoor turf. If anyone's come up with a way to hammer the pirates right off this rock, the Fixer would know. Give her a try. Now, if only you could do something about the weather.